What does the latest research say about masking kids in school and the risk of, you know, the thing? I posted this picture yesterday and got a lot of dialogue going, so I wanted to continue that here with some of the latest research that's going on. I wanted to keep everybody up to date on the latest science that has come out from both the CDC and from Israel about, you know, the thing that's been going on for the last 18 months. And so if you want to trust the science, then here it is. Hi, I'm Dr. Devin Atkinson from Atkinson Family Chiropractic in Denver, North Carolina. And over the past 15 years, I've helped people take steps to get back to health. In May, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, uh, took a look into how effective different measures were in controlling and preventing the spread of, you know, the thing in schools. And the study found that masking teachers and having really good ventilation were the absolute best ways to prevent the transmission of, you know, the thing that we can't say on Facebook. However, there was absolutely no difference between the kids that had to wear masks in school and the kids that did not have to wear masks in school. And in this research paper the CDC put out, it had that in the research section, but it did not include that in the summary. The CDC also found that there was zero, none, not a zip, zilch. There was no statistical benefit in socially distancing students in school. In 2020, there were 73 million kids under the age of 17 in the United States. And out of that entire 73 million, 335 tragically lost their lives to, you know, the thing that we can't talk about. Every single death of anybody for any reason is a tragedy. Death is a horrible thing that we all have to deal with. Of those 335 that died last year with the thing, nearly every single one of them had a comorbidity. Comorbidities including things like influenza, pneumonia, respiratory diseases, uh, diabetes, obesity, or heart disease. Nearly every single one of those had that as a comorbidity. But the vast majority of kids that got the thing recovered. The vast majority recovered. And recent research out of Israel shows that if you get the thing naturally and then you recover from it, you are 6.7 times more immune than if you artificially got it through, you know, the special thing in your arm that is almost required everywhere nowadays. Even more recent research out of the United States shows that people who naturally recovered from the thing are 700% more immune to the Delta than people who got the artificial immunity in the arm. 700% more immune. They also found that adding the artificial in the arm immunity uh, has zero effect, does not increase your immunity if you had the thing and already recovered from it. It does not help you at all. We all know that the thing that's going around right now is more dangerous the older you are and the more comorbidities that you have. So let's take a look at two different states. We're gonna look at California, which California had some of the most extreme lockdown and masking measures in the entire United States in 2020. And we're gonna look at Florida, which had the least extensive lockdown and masking measures in the entire United States in 2020. California's average age of population in 2020 was about 37 years old. Florida's average age of population was about 42.2 years old. So there's about a five year age difference in the average person in those two states. Statistically, Florida should have had way more deaths just because their average age is about five years older than California's. What the actual numbers show. In California, an average of 69.4 people per 100,000 people died from the thing last year. Terrible. Every death is tragic. In Florida, which has a five year on average older population, their average was 58 per 100,000. So California had over 11 more deaths per 100,000 than Florida did with a younger population. So like I said, kids are the least likely to have an adverse reaction to the thing. And when they do get it and recover from it, the research shows that they have robust immunity to it and its other future Greek variants. Like I said, 
Every single death is tragic. I don't want to see anybody die from this or anything else. So it's really time that we stop doing the things that have not worked over the last year and start doing the things that do work according to the science. Have a wonderful day. Bye.